Mike Shepherd. I teach uh, art design here at East Sussex College Eastbourne. Um, my primary role is on the level three art design, teaching graphic design and illustration, but I teach across a whole range of courses here um, and get involved in most of the stuff that's going on in this building. So we have a range of courses here from level two, level three, foundation art design, um, and they are all diagnostic, exploratory art design courses that allow students to really have a hands-on, in-depth, expressive exploration of art design, and curious about what art design is about. As the courses progress, students are allowed to specialise and develop their own personal taste, their own personal languages, through graphics, illustration, fashion, 3D design, textiles, um, uh, architecture, a whole range of creative industries. So, the key course uh, in the art design department is the level three art design course, which is equivalent to three A levels, and is there as your level three progression course from GCSE. Um, it needs uh, the extra requirements are five GCSEs at um, four and above, um, and it's there to progress you over two years um, through exploratory, inquisitive art design uh, practices. Um, as the course first year develops. Um, it takes you into more specialist study, uh, which allows you to examine those parts of art design that are really special to you. So if you're interested in fashion and textiles, and that's where your ambitions lie, that's something you can pursue. If you're more interested in graphic design, and branding and advertising, um, that's there for you. If it's for illustration, about picture making and storytelling. Equally, we have a very successful three-dimensional area, amazing facilities for that, so where students can explore and examine. Uh, the potential of 3D design through products, uh, craft design, interior, special effects, effects from uh, makeup or film and television. Um, and that's something that you examine and explore and confirm into your second year. For those students who don't reach the uh, entry requirements for level three, we have a level two course which allows students to take a year to kind of take stock of where they are um, and work on some of the core skills that allow them to be able to study at that high level. And it's a year to kind of consolidate where they are, understand who they are, maybe retake maths and English. Um, maybe they're students who haven't even studied art at GCSE. For whatever reason, they've realised they've come back to revisiting it's something they want to do in the last year, get ready for the kind of rigours of a level three qualification later on. Most of those students join us a year later and they often become our best students because they've had that experience of being in the environment, understanding the expectations of studying at this level and the kind of ways that we work. The other main course that we offer is a foundation art design course. Um, all these courses are run by UAL, the, um, are the awarding body, University of Arts in London. So a, a, a qualification that recognises what's really important for art design students. The foundation course is there for students who study A levels. They've chosen three A levels and then they want to go and study at university, that's their progression um, uh, expectations. And a foundation course is a one year intensive course that allows them to really examine and investigate what within art design they want to do because they want to build a portfolio, a specialist portfolio that's going to get them into the best universities to study graphic design or the best universities to study interior architecture or whatever that is, and we spend a year helping them build that portfolio and build a much more specialist kind of examination that's required for them. So that's a course that requires you to have A-levels um, and be off that certain age. And sometimes we take on adult students for that. So once you've chosen uh, specialised in art design, you're going to want to kind of break that down into kind of subjects and decide where you want to be within that. Within the level three art design course and the foundation course, you can specialise in an area. And we're very good, and I think we're one of the few courses that allow students to investigate at such a kind of granular level. We have students who study graphic design and illustration, uh, and they will be able to specialise in that for the most part of the level three course and the whole of the foundation course, where they will look at um, what's how we communicate, how we tell stories, how we can uh, solve problems using graphic communication. So um, it's about problem solving, it's about communicating information, it's about delivering a, a subject matter um, and a subject to people so they can understand it in the most succinct and most kind of um, um, uh, playful and interesting way. Uh, they'll learn how to um, uh, develop ideas in using creative software, we use industry level software, um, and then we talk with the expectations of the industry, we're very much about creative industries in, in Eastbourne. Uh, one of the kind of rebranded buildings, uh, uh, creative industries building. We're interested in getting students' jobs, and that's the most important thing for us. 
So within illustration, they'll learn how to uh, work with current illustration trends uh, and picture make and image make. Um, within fashion and textiles, similarly, they will learn um, contemporary fashion trends, they will learn how to pattern cut, they'll learn how to design in 2D, which is working uh, on, um, on design sheets, as well as three-dimensional, which is working on stands and developing ideas through draping and modeling. They'll also learn how to pattern cut and fabricate, they also print their own fabric, which then becomes part of the garment. Uh, lots of students we have are interested in fashion marketing and business, and they go off to study that at university. All our students get a chance to be involved in the fashion show. Uh, for the last three years, we've been at the Tamner Art Gallery where we've had fashion shows. So students are involved in that. They might be modelling, they might be the designers, they might be project managing that. So we get involved in all sides of them. Um, in, within 3D design, we have students who specialise in architecture, interior design, um, product furniture. It was such great success. Uh, our next student bars, Frank Wins, has just won the Conran Design Award this year, having won the Lucy and Robin Day Award. So we have students who are going out into the industry, improving themselves and, 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 and working and, and supporting themselves. So 3D design is a really interesting one because it has everything from hard subjects like product, hard uh, process things, right through to craft design, designer makers, uh, jewellers, uh, craftspeople, ceramicists. Um, and it's about students who are, like most of our courses, are about practical students, students who like working with their hands, making, process. Um, our students are people who are, people who are, um, are makers and doers. And that's how we learn you know, in the arts and the So the the week for student breaks down to being studio based. There we have special studios um, that are rigged for special studies. So there's rooms for fashion students, room for 3D students, graphic students. This is a graphic demonstration room we're in at the moment. Um, we also have special workshops that they can go off and access. Um, and the week breaks down to having a set amount of days. And we like to keep it to whole days because we feel that. Being a practical activity, we want to get the most out of the day, and we only learn by process and doing and exploring ideas, and that needs to be a sizable amount of time. So we try and get students in for whole days. When they're not in on their timetable, we promote open access and um, independent study. Students need to develop those uh, broader skills, those uh, transferable skills about managing their own time and managing their own uh, work experience. So we have studio service spaces set up that they can come in, use when they're not uh, timetabled. Uh, and we try and encourage that the idea that college is a place that they can come and work and be part of, uh, be a community where they can sit and hang out with their friends and work on projects when they're not being taught and learn from each other as much as they're learning from us as staff. So if you're excited by art design and you really want to think about that and pursuing further in your education, you can start the application process by going to the website and starting to fill in forms on that. If you're still not unsure, if you're still a bit unsure and you're curious to see more, we run a really exciting Instagram feed um, which is ESC Art Design Evo, e -B -O, uh, where you'll see a day in the life um, of what we do here. You'll see the students producing work and the kind of creative input.